Speaking in the White House Rose Garden, U.S. President Donald Trump was eager to highlight the swearing in of his Supreme Court pick I've as a victory. That the most important thing that a president of the United States does is appoint people, hopefully great people like this appointment, to the United States Supreme Court. And I got it done in the first 100 days. That's even nice. With challenges reforming health care and his travel restrictions held up in the courts, Trump noted he was delivering on a campaign promise. As a conservative, Trump's pick of Neil Gorsuch will shift the balance of the Supreme Court further to the political right. His opinions, much like the conservative justice he'll replace, Antonin Scalia, who died last year. I won't ever forget that the seat I inherit today is that of a very, very great man. The impact of Gorsuch's rulings could be felt immediately on cases deciding whether guns can be carried outside the home, whether businesses can deny service to same-sex couples, and there are questions about whether Gorsuch will support a woman's right to an abortion. But Gorsuch may not be Donald Trump's only Supreme Court pick, given the fact there are three Supreme Court justices over the age of 78 it is possible the president may have another opportunity to appoint a conservative justice to the court in the future. There are already four liberal and four mostly conservative justices. As a judge who sees the U.S. Constitution as an original, not living document, Gorsuch may be the deciding vote on several cases that have been deadlocked in the court. Our country is counting on you to be wise, impartial and fair, to serve under our laws, not over them. And at the age of 49, as the youngest of the Supreme Court justices, Gorsuch's impact on the court will be felt for generations. I, Neil M. Gorsuch, do solemnly swear that I will... Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.